Heather Duplessis Allen Drive, weekdays from four on News Talk ZB. If you listen to my show, you'll know that there are a few businesses in this country that I hate with the passion that I direct at parking companies. So it brings me no end of joy to tell you about the best idea that I've heard for how to deal with these people. Now, first, before I get into the idea, I just want to give you the context of what one company in particular has been up to lately. Wilson Car Parking. Last month, Wilson Car Parking was busted literally creating a car park around a set of cars while the drivers were at work and then charging the drivers 85 bucks for parking in the car park. They charged a guy for breaching their four hour parking limit in Christchurch when actually he'd come in and then he'd left and then he came back in again later. later. And when he, when he told them, actually it was two different trips, they wouldn't let it go until he went to the disputes tribunal. Multiple people have recently told the media they've actually paid for their parking, still been fined, and Wilson just ignores the proof of payment and demands that they pay the fine anyway, and if they don't, debt collectors will come. The conduct of this company is now so bad that Labor's Duncan Webb reckons they should just lose their access to our private information. Because the thing is that they actually have special permission, like other car parking companies, to be able to access the motor vehicle register, which is run by NZTA. That register tells them if they have the car registration number, your name and your address, which is how they send you your tickets. Now, Webb reckons they've abused their rights with all of this threatening and careless behaviour, so much so that they should lose their access, and I agree with him. They are not good corporate citizens. They do not deserve access to information which they use to bully people. I realise revoking their access will make their jobs harder. They probably have to stop using those car parks where they just let us drive in and out without the boom gates. They'll have to start installing boom gates, which will cost them money. Tough titties because they cost us money. Heather Duplessis Allen Drive, weekdays from 4 on News Talk ZB.